Hey guys, a uh, quick gym update. I've got gym videos somewhere. I If I find them, I'll put them here. And if I don't or I don't want to show them yet, then I won't. <laughs> but um, I, I have started going to the gym. I've missed this whole week already because I'm about to start my period and I'm already getting cramps. Oops, too much information, sorry. I'm already getting cramps in my stomach and my tits are killing me. So I'm taking this time off. Um, because when I bleed, I am bedridden for the first three days anyway. So as soon as that's over, I'll be going at night to avoid seeing people when I've got these big pads on and it looks like I have a dick because I bleed so heavy that even when the pain's gone, um, I need two maternity pads back to back and it makes it look like I've got a big bulging dick. And because I wear proper exercise pants that are skin tight, that's not going to be a good look for me. Um, I'm going to a powerlifters gym. I'm actually not going to a normal gym. Uh, so I'm not actually doing like cardio stuff because what I need to do is rebuild muscle because I've got no muscle in my ass. I've got no muscle, you know, anywhere at all. It's just flappy skin. So, um, I'm going to powerlifting gym. My ex-husband is taking me there and he is my coach. He, uh, he keeps telling me, and I keep forgetting, but he, uh, he usually wins first place or second place nationals. Um, the whole country, he is, uh, the strongest person at his gym to start with. Um, and one of the strongest in the whole country, uh, he can deadlift. Oh God. What did he say? Over or just almost 400 kilos. So he's quite strong, um, got massive arms and shit. I'll see if I can sneak a picture of his arm here and I'll just cut his face out. So he is coaching me, so he knows what he's doing and he's teaching me safely. We go in and one day it'll be arms. One day it'll be legs, then one day it'll be deadlifting, things like that. So I am taking it easy. I am being taught properly and stretching my shoulders out and stuff like that. I've already seen uh, an improvement because when I started, I could barely lift like a bottle of milk, like ugh. this bottle here. Um, this is a two liter milk, which isn't even a gallon. And I'd be like, oh, like I'd feel the strain just from this. And now I can, I can bench, uh, about 40 pounds. I know it's not a lot, but I've been like bedridden, um, for like 10 years, maybe not bedridden, but in the house, on the computer, not walking around, not doing anything, not using my muscles. So my muscles have withered away to nothing. And especially after my surgery, when I'm supposed to be doing stuff, doing weight resistant training and all that, I haven't been taking care of myself and I haven't done any of that. Um, so to go from nothing to being able to bench like 40 kilos is pretty good. Um, my first try at deadlift, I did very, very hard. I did sumo deadlift and that was um, 55 kilos and I could barely get it up. And then the second time I tried it, I quite easily cleared um, uh, 59 and so we put me up to 62 and a half kilos which is almost my body weight um, it's, it's a bit far because my weight's gone up since I started going to the gym I'm like 77 kilos which is really depressing and my first instinct is to want to starve myself but um, I'm trying to be smart and not do that and just hope that it's just a uh, muscle and my body changing and holding on to weight because of my period and all that or whatever because I don't feel much fatter but I I I don't know but I, I feel fatter I feel fatter but I don't feel fatter if that makes sense so um but I can lift like deadlift quite a bit and I, I do have videos of that and then um there's uh these this other dumbbell exercise where you're kind of kneeling and then you kind of lift it up. Um, I started with a three kilo bar with that and then I moved up from three to eight. So I'm very quickly making gains and getting my old strength back, my residual strength. So that's good. And where I thought I was going to be the strongest, which was legs, is where I'm actually the weakest 
So that kind of sucks. And I, I've got so much work ahead of me, but um, I'm not sure how much uh, a, a gym vlog will help you guys because I'm not doing typical gym stuff. Uh, I'm not doing like treadmill type things or anything. I'm going in and I'm just doing weight training. So uh, let me know if that's still interesting. It's not flattering uh, seeing me in this skin tight workout thing, um, which I keep pulling down because I'm worried about camel toe and stuff. It's just not flattering. It does not look good. I look really chunky. And then when I brace to like lift a weight, my stomach sticks out. And I just like, I swear to fuck, I look like I did before I even got the surgery. Like, I think I look really, really fat and I'm so disgusted with myself. I know you're not supposed to be thinking about that at the gym. It doesn't matter what you look like, but I, it matters to me and I'd rather die than to be what I was. And, um, I say that in all fucking honesty, I would much rather be dead than to be what I was. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get there again. And, um, yeah, I don't know. People are like, oh, I'd love to see your, your, um, gym vlogs. But like I said, I don't know how much it'll help. I'll see what I can include in this video. Uh, it might not be anything. I won't know until I'm making it, but hopefully you like this update, I guess, and I'll see you guys around. All right, today is um, October 19th, 2016, and today is going to be my first day at the gym, hopefully first in at least a year, because I think I'm going to have to sign a year contract. Um, I've never been to a gym before. I mean, I visited a gym once. This is not a normal gym. I'm not going to get skinnier. I'm going to tone up and to get my strength back. This is a deadlifters gym. Um, and so I'm going to be, you know, I mean, hopefully I'll lose weight anyway as I'm there, as I tone up. But as of today, waking up, no food, no drink, um, naked, no jewelry, I was 75.3 kilos. So my goal weight is to be 70. Well, like my total goal weight is to be 65. My realistic goal weight is to be 70. I've gotten as low as between 72 and 73 when I was sick. So I've nearly been there. Um, I usually hover between 74 and 75. So that's where I'm at now. So I'm going to pan up and show you my outfit. This is not fully what I'm wearing. I've got proper socks and proper track shoes. And I'm going to be wearing... Um, this over it um, or another tank top over it but this is just to see the changes in my body so yeah so I've got my workout pants and oopsies that's this is uh, what I've got on my torso the pants are very tight so without that it's a bit you know but when you squeeze it it gives me a little bit of a muffin top so I'm jiggly still. So that's that. It's all the loose skin and stuff and stuff. Um, so I put a white towel behind me so I could see better because my bedspread is black. But um, yeah, so that's what I've got to work with. I look quite square at the moment in these pants, which I don't like because I've usually... <laughs> got a figure <laughs> but um so that's this is what I look like today so that's a chunk that can go chunk mixed with skin hopefully I can get rid of some of this wobbly bits and uh, smooth this out a bit so I don't have weight loss stomach and yeah so wish me luck this is uh, me today and we'll see how it goes from there. Oh, and this is what it this is what it looks like with the shirt on. So it looks a lot better. And it is see-through, but um it's actually um uh, it's called Lower Jane Active, so it is actually a workout shirt. So it's got a little cute little gem at the back. <laughs> but uh, I scored this for three dollars at the three dollar clothing shop, and I've got something spilled on my pants, which is not good. It's like some kind of chocolate something spilled, so I've got to go wipe that off. And I'll check back in with you, hopefully in a week's time. And then when I get a couple of weeks, if I see 
results, I will update this and also um, I'll update you when I get home on how my first day was. Thank you. 